All right, what's up, Simmers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today I got some cool news for you guys. Now, you've probably already seen this because I didn't have time to record earlier this week. I just got back from Cali uh, on a business trip, but Corsair has finally came out with some of their pro <laughs> Sim gear. Uh, I say pro in quotes because I think their level of pro and then what us as enthusiasts, our level of a pro is, is completely different, right? Uh, but for their pro level, them stepping it up, pro being a direct drive uh, wheel, which I actually recommend uh, the, uh, the Logitech Pro wheel to those that want to play uh, console racing, actually. I think it's an excellent choice, uh, this pro sim racing wheel here, 11 newton meters direct drive wheel. Works really good. Check out my reviews on my channel already that I have. Uh, where I just blatantly, you know, say what, what the truth is about it. I, you know, I don't have any affiliates, uh, with Logitech. I actually have an affiliate with say like, uh, you know, Sim Magic and, uh, through Apex Sim Racing and, and other places, uh, actually affiliate for most everything out there, except for like Turtle Beach and, and say, uh, Logitech, right? That's a snap of my wheel going on. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I'm going to keep my Logitech wheel because I, I like it. It's one of those wheels, uh, wheel bases that uh, when a brand new game comes out, let's say Forza, for instance, Forza Horizon or something like that, and no other wheel base works off, off the bat, uh, Logitech always works. So, uh, But I, I do enjoy it. I mainly use it for PlayStation PS5 uh, use is what I use it for, Gran Turismo. And oddly enough, my sim magic wheel uh doesn't work for forza horizon 5 but my motion rig works excellent for it which is a blast to play with motion and then also the sim magic handbrake you know with the haptics that i have on it is actually quite a bit of fun but uh i digress what what i was saying here is that they came out with some new pro series uh stuff so let's take a look real quick now if you haven't got into the Pro Series uh, yet, you haven't bought anything, no worries. You can click on this this little Pro Series thing here uh, that I said, and it'll it'll correct whether you are buying the correct base. So here for being PlayStation and PC, so I'm going to say PlayStation here. Uh, you have these two choices here, right? You got $5.99 uh, or, the, or this regular one. It automatically highlights this one here, puts it on your rig, Obviously, they're trying to promote their own little rig that they have here, which actually looks really interesting. I, I wouldn't mind having it as a second one just to have a console set up on. But uh, Pro Racing uh, GTD RIM for $249 or their RS Wheel Hub, which is for PC only. So, you know, depending on what you're going to do here, but obviously you would, you would want a RIM <laughs> for PlayStation because you picked PlayStation, right? But if you did it for PC here, uh, you would just get just uh, the the PC only rim that only works for PC. Your wheelbase still works for PlayStation, right? So it doesn't matter if you don't want to buy, say the uh, the regular two fifty dollar wheel. Uh, that's the the original one that that came out with the system. If you didn't want to buy that wheel and you just wanted to get the hub, and then um, uh, have say the GT style wheel, you can do that. So it's very intuitive here. Uh, so you can now choose your round wheel here, which looks just like the original one. The difference is, is that the side knobs or the uh, knobs are on the underneath, as you see here on the screen, instead of, uh, let's see if I can blow this up bigger. You have these knobs pointing down here, whereas the original one had a knob facing upwards. Uh, which is uh, a little awkward, actually. I, I like the like the way they face here in this case. So you can go ahead and do it like that, or you can get this RS track wheel here as well, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I like this wheel. It kind of does look like a yoke for a plane in that instance, but it's not uh, it's not too far fetched from from other uh, wheels out there on the market um, that that have this cut off here at the top. So, but interesting. Uh, wheel set up there and then of course you know it shows you what's in stock as well and then boom you order so you can get your custom setup is what i'm saying here right off the bat for 899.97 and then uh use one of the other affiliate uh not affiliate links but affiliate discount codes like boost it uh boost it media has theirs called boost it so you'll get like i think five percent off which is what i did as well 
so why not? It's uh, extra money in your pocket. But anyway, you can choose between that, Xbox and PC. Now, I will tell you, if you don't have any of this now yet, right? You're just getting into it. You have a PlayStation and Xbox. Which one do you buy for? Buy the PlayStation wheelbase, okay? Because the chip for PlayStation is in the wheelbase, it said, like I had said in my original review video. And then the uh, Xbox, the have Xbox, the chip is in the wheel itself, right? Uh, so you want to buy the base so you can work for PlayStation base. You can use an Xbox wheel on a PlayStation base. It's okay. Uh, works the same. Uh, obviously, you don't have the triangle and square and stuff as much as, as you know, as you do for the Xbox, I guess, all the little extra indicators that you would have. But anyway, good enough. Uh, but, and that's the case with any, any wheel brand you go with, say Fanatic as well. But uh, so this works like a Fanatic one does, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, Fanatic, you can buy the PlayStation base and then buy an Xbox PC wheel and then have the best of both worlds. So you can, again, do this now here. So if you're just now getting into the ecosystem, uh, it's a good time. So get just the PlayStation base and then pick your GT wheel uh, that you want here. Uh, say you get the hub for PC. You're going to actually want, I'm going to select Xbox here as well, PlayStation and Xbox. And, uh, and you can do say PC, so it gives you all the choices. But you'll want the Xbox PC hub right here, which is actually what I purchased here recently, uh, just to do a review on. And then pick what wheel you want. You want the round wheel, or you want the uh, uh, you know the GT GT3 style wheel, right? Whatever one you want. Uh, I would suggest uh, you get both, <laughs> just because you don't. If you want only one wheel, just get the round wheel, right? 69 bucks, 70 bucks. Uh, that'll cover all your all your instances. But I actually prefer driving on a GT wall, uh, GT style rim predominantly. And then I only use route, round wheels for rally racing. So uh, I would actually uh, uh, pick, pick uh, you know, uh, the round wheel and then uh, buy separately the GT wheel as well. So it doesn't actually allow you to add that in here. So you'll have to go into... Uh, it's separately to to add it but anyway uh, and then you know add the cart and boom you're done right so easy peasy pretty cool now going on to what i purchased so i had already pre-ordered since i saw the release here earlier this week didn't have time to make a video like i said but i went ahead and ordered the rs uh wheel here i ordered the xbox version because i have a, a xbox series x over here so i want to see you know prove out that it does actually work Having a PlayStation wheelbase and an Xbox wheel uh, show for videos. And uh, I want to see if Forza is different playing on the Xbox, Forza Motorsport that is, uh, compared to the uh, PC. I, I, I pretty much guarantee that it's going to be much better on the PC than it is on Xbox just because of the bits of resolution. But I can now have a separate console version set up over there if I wanted to uh, later on. But this is one I got. It didn't make sense for me to buy just the PC version. $129.99 for the PC version, $149, 20 bucks more for the Xbox version. Uh, you know, if you're going to get it, I would get the Xbox version because if you later on decide to sell, you're more marketable, right? To sell off your gear. It's now on, on back order, is what I see here. Uh, but, you know, I already got my order in. I see these keep going on back order and then back in order. So they must be having stock coming in. Uh, you know, some people <laughs> comment that it's not, you know, I don't know if this is very popular or not, but if you're watching the trend on how they sell stuff here, a lot of times the stuff is on back order pretty quickly. Like for instance, this RS wheel here is on back order already. Uh, when I ordered it, it wasn't, but the round wheel was, was on back order. Um, but yeah, so then, there's your choices, right? I'm going to play this little video here. You can see what's going on if you're new to this. So there's your choices. One wheel hub, two wheels, adjustable paddles in and out, or you can remove them. I don't know why you'd remove them. And then you can put your own uh, wheel, either a round wheel or the uh, GT style wheel, right? Pretty cool. I'm glad to see that they came out with this. Quick release is a little bit different from what I understand. You got to hold it, hold it to put it on instead of it just snaps on like before, but still the same deal. Still a quick release, right? Now it makes sense to actually have a quick release. 
I, of course, only ordered the GT style wheel uh, with the hub myself because I already have a round wheel that came with the system, right? Uh, another thing I ordered, so what I ordered, again, like I said, the RS wheel hub, Xbox version, the, R, the track wheel, RS track wheel here. If you want to wait till later, they have a Momo version here, which I wish I, I could have waited because if you see, I got Momo back here. I like Momo. <laughs> so it would have been neat to have the Momo version of this RS track wheel. Plus, it looks like you have the option of Alcantara on here, which is pretty, pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, that's the only options here. Keep in mind, they're, they're creating this ecosystem for themselves to keep you in this ecosystem as much as possible. Now, you really don't need to buy a third-party wheel. I mean, this is their pro level, right? This is as pro as they're pretty much going to get with wheels, it looks like. Uh, or at least off the bat, you know, they don't have, if you notice here, they don't have uh, light-up buttons here. Uh, something like the, like the Sim Magic offers or Moza offers. Uh, they're more kind of like the original Fanatic stuff uh, where it doesn't have light up buttons or even the Thrustmaster as well. So fairly simple in that regard. It does have the LED strip up here, which then disconnects the LED strip that's on your hub as well, which makes more sense now because you can actually see it better when you're in rotation, which is one of my uh, complaints about the original wheel. So I'm glad to see that that is addressed as well. Um, and you don't have the paddle shifters on the bottom. So you don't have the clutch uh, clutch shifters here on the bottom like you do on the original wheel, which kind of sucks actually, because that's a, a really handy feature for when you go to PC, you have two extra buttons to use, uh, but it is what it is, right? So um, that part is a little, I don't know, it, it sucks. Uh, that, that part is like that. I would li rather see them put the paddle shifters on here, but Maybe uh, a lot of people don't use the paddle shifters. I don't really use the paddle shifters on the bottom, you know, the clutch, clutch and brake shifters uh, per se, hardly at all. Even on this one here, I only use them as, as uh, analog <laughs> button choices on, on some games that when I need to. Uh, but yeah, moving on. They have the, sh uh, I'll come back to the shifter here. They also have this RSQ adapter. I ordered this one as well. For me because i want to put uh the gt uh, i have a a cube uh gt pro over there uh, gt zero i think pro is what it's called uh, i'm gonna mount this up on here and use it as well and now if you want to hire in wheel now you can buy some, oops sorry something like this uh which the gt neo uh, from sim magic and get their hub for it right uh and use it on your gt pro so if you're thinking that you don't really dig their Momo version that's going to come out or the regular uh, uh, Logitech Pro version, just get save you some money. Get this Pro. Get this for $240. Uh, uh, use my affiliate link if you like. I have a review up on the Simagic Alpha, which is also including this one. I'll actually do a comparison video of this one pretty soon as well uh, with some other uh, comparable one wheels that I have here in stock. So, but... Yeah, this that would be a good deal if, if you wanted to go back. You know, think about it. You know, you could just go build this out and uh, uh, just get your PlayStation version here with the PC, uh, PlayStation, you know, base, and say if you're just doing PlayStation, right? And if you wanted to do the Xbox as well, you click on the Xbox. You would do this one right here, and just get you the round wheel, right? And you're done, right? And then you get all that. For nine nineteen, spend you another two fifty for this. I think it's twenty bucks for the hit uh, for the hub itself. So two seventy uh, extra, and then now you have a custom light up USB wheel. Uh, it's pretty freaking dope uh, to use on your Logitech as well. So uh, pretty cool. Now keep in mind that wheel hub only unfortunately only works for PC, right? So. You could, uh, of course, I, I would imagine I'm going to try it. I'm going to put my GT Pro on there, right, and plug it in and use it on my um, on my uh, uh, Gran Turismo game and see. Uh, it's not going to register any of the lights or any of the buttons on the PC. It's just going to be as if you have a blank blank wheel. So you could technically use it on your PlayStation or Xbox, but you won't have no functionality on it, right? So. But anyway, keep in mind, that's just something cool that, that could happen. 
but yeah, I ordered this uh, just to see for the PC side of things. It's pretty inexpensive. I mean, 70 bucks, that's a really good price for it. And again, you know, for pr their pro level wheels, now you're getting, you know, the use of, let's say you started off on consoles and now you want to use it on your PC because your dad wants PC and you want a better wheel. Now you got it. Now the shifter here, here's the shifter. This is a shifter and handbrake. So, um, a la carte kind of like, uh, Thrustmaster where they have the uh, sequential shifter and the handbrake all in one. And that's, that's what this is as well. So play that little video here. I'll turn the music off here, but you can see it in action here. Um, you got your sequential shifter. You unscrew it from the uh, one joint there into the other threaded hole. Uh, and then it goes to a handbrake. So as you can see here, also adjustable handle, which is neat. And they have three settings there, sequential for the, uh, uh normal sequential and then you have two handbrake modes to where you have a uh, uh systems that don't recognize the analog uh, or you need the analog instead of the uh, uh segmented or, or filling the range of the of the uh handbrake you can adjust it for both so that's really what that is there anyway i hope that came out right but sounds sounds off why <laughs> i said it but Anyway, you have yeah, you have that adjustability. This is pretty neat looking, I guess. Uh, to me, it's very basic. Uh, nothing too fancy here. But like I said, yeah, you got your sequential, and then your handbrake mode as well. Uh, regular sequential here's the far left, and then uh, you got two handbrake modes here, right? So one is the old relic one, and then one for the for the progressively uh, indicating of, of when you're just barely locking up the wheels or when you're fully locking the wheels, right? Uh, table mount here comes with a table mount. Now you can actually mount two of these together. You can put one on top of here and save some space on your rig. This is actually kind of big. So I wouldn't want to use two of them on here. One for sequential, one for handbrake. For me, for Gran Turismo, I got it because I like to bang gears with sequential. Sequential shifting is, is one of my more favorites. And unfortunately, when I play rally games, I like to bang shit sequential and grab a handbrake. I wouldn't be able to do that here. So I'll have to use the, the paddle shifters on that and then switch it over to handbrake. But at least I have a handbrake to use for some of the rally racing. So if you don't know, D-Box actually works for the Gran Turismo. Uh, of course, you have to run your PC at the same time to get it to run. But uh, pretty cool uh, setup. Really makes Gran Turismo way better. Uh, than before. Not that I would recommend you spending eight grand for a full motion system just to play Gran Turismo, but people have done some weird things, right? So uh, I, I use it for PC, uh, obviously, but now I have the benefit of using it for console as well. Anyway, that's it. That kind of covers it. I have this stuff coming in this Sunday, so I'll do an unboxing of it as well. Uh, like I said, uh, the hub, the RS track wheel, the quick release and the shifter and handbrake. I don't know if I'll get this shifter and handbrake in uh, this weekend or not, because that was originally on pre-order and it says it comes out October 13th. So I imagine I won't get that yet, but I'll of course do a separate video on that. Let you know my impressions. I don't expect too much for a $150 uh, sequential handbrake combo. I am pretty positive it's not gonna be anywhere as cool as the Sim Magic one that I have sitting here. Um, uh, beside me that is sequential and, and, uh, and well, it's actually sequential and H pattern, right? So that is actually where they're missing, uh, something. They don't have an H pattern one here. You'd have to go to their old relic, <laughs> this driving force shifter for 50 bucks. If you got to have one, uh, which then you also need to get this Logitech racing adapter as well. So this is good and informative to y'all that are new into Logitech. I do not recommend this It's a piece of crap. Um, <laughs> if you are a, uh, 10 year old, uh, you know, if you're a parent buying for your kid, great. It's fine. Uh, for that, uh, it's, it's nothing good. Uh, it's nothing great. Right. But, uh, you could do that. I would wait till they come out with a pro version. I suspect most pro versions, uh, wheels here are, we're catering to more of the teenage market, uh, up to, to my age. Right. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Check it out. Uh, look forward to uh, reviewing this stuff when it comes in uh, as well. And yeah, I'll let you know how I like it or don't. So until next time, I'm out.